Good morning, honors peeps. It's Miss Graves here, and um, this video is going to explain a little bit about where we were hoping to go with our writing. This is our, our favorite person writing. We're adding some detail to expand or what we call develop our ideas. We already looked at our introduction, and instead of having a wimpy little introduction like this, um, we added um, some kind of explanation or background information. She's not really my aunt in a familial way. She's more of an aunt by choice. She was an aunt to all of us here at Westside. That gives a little bit more um, beefiness to the introduction and develops it a little bit more. When you added this detail to your introduction, it should not be something that you intend to talk about down here in the body paragraphs, okay? It just gives us a little bit more background knowledge. So um, for e-learning, we're just focusing on that first body paragraph. And we are going to concentrate on two different ways to develop your writing a little bit more. Um, is it just me or is this video getting really blurry? I'm sorry about that. Um, we are going to add comparisons and maybe exaggeration. I think the exaggeration kind of goes with comparisons. So my first body paragraph, not super fantastic. It looks like this. Aunt Marge loved riding her tractor around her land. I didn't pick a really um, basic kind of topic sentence. Like, Aunt Marge was active. This was my uh, first attempt. Um, but then I, I looked at it and I'm like, you know, this topic sentence makes me think that the whole paragraph would be about her riding around on her land. So I do did need to change that topic sentence. So here's what I did. Aunt Marge loved riding her tractor. Oh, crud. You know what? I didn't um, reprint this. I think I said something about Aunt Lar Marge loved being active by riding her tractor around on her land. She would survey the flower garden and shrubs to see what needed to be done. And I thought about, okay, where can I add a comparison? This part seemed perfect for it. So I told you, picture an army drill sergeant inspecting the troops. So I'm comparing Aunt Marge looking at her flower garden to a drill sergeant inspecting the troops. Only she didn't bark orders. I didn't stop there, you guys. I added more detail about what would an army drill sergeant do? They bark orders at the troops. And so I said, only she didn't bark orders. So if she didn't do that, what did she do? She just paid attention to detail. And so I was able to develop and add three sentences um, to this part of the body paragraph. Plus it adds a little bit of voice and personality to my nonfiction writing so it's not dry. Then I kept going and talked about other ways that she liked to be busy. She kept busy filling bird feeders in every corner of her yard, so she had them to look at through the window from inside the house. Not only did she take care of her own yard work at the advanced age of 82, but she also went to a gym and worked out. She did water aerobics twice a week. And so now, I, instead of a comparison, I wanted to like exaggerate a little bit. Now, this totally fits Aunt Marge because she liked to be social but she's social in the water. And so I, I kind of blew this out of proportion and exaggerated a bit. The woman loved to tell stories. I can't imagine her keeping her mouth closed long enough to not drown underwater. And so I exaggerated this aspect. I don't really have a concluding sentence here in this paragraph. I'm still in the revision process. And so it'd be great if you could attempt some kind of concluding sentence here, something um, to wrap it all up. I, I don't know, try something. If it's crappy, we'll throw it out, okay? So I just want you to develop your first body paragraph by adding a comparison and a bit of exaggeration if you can. And then reshare that with us, please. If you wanna reshare the whole thing, fantastic. If you just wanna share this body paragraph, fine. You don't have to have it in two columns like this. It would be nice for you to highlight where you think you're adding your exaggeration and your comparison. Happy e-learning and we will see you soon.